What's going on everybody, it's UNSC Australia here, and today I'll be bringing you some Halo 5 easter eggs. All easter eggs in this video were found before I found them. I only truly found two of them myself, so the others will be listed in the description to where I or someone else who showed me heard about them. The Halo universe has always been full of little hidden easter eggs and funny extras that players can find if they look hard enough, and Halo 5 is no exception. So that's why today I'll be counting down my top 5 favourite easter eggs so far in Halo 5 Guardians. So let's get started with this guy. Yep, he's number 5, Grunt in Space. This little guy is in my top 5 just because it's so random. Like what's he doing there? Where did he come from? It makes me laugh every time. And it's the easiest one to find. Just leave the title screen open for a while and he'll float by majestically. Number 4, The Rig's Giant Sandworm. This easter egg can be found on the multiplayer map, The Rig. Now, trying to activate this easter egg in a PvP match is probably going to be hard, so just load up into a custom game. Once in the game, walk over to this area and you'll be able to see a small plate that's just big enough for a ground pound. Hint hint. Once you land the ground pound, there will be two small towers that will open up and expose what look like power cores. Go ahead and damage them, and they should explode. And now, sit back and watch the monster you have unleashed destroy another rig in the distance. Now, who's the monster? Number 3, Blue Team's Ultra Banshee. In Mission 2 of the campaign, and the first one with Blue Team, you'll play through and eventually get to this spot. You'll be told you need to get to the control sheds on either side of the cooling chamber, and there will be a lot of enemies around, but I'm gonna help. Go straight ahead and clear this area. Smash through the wall and grab the rocket launcher. Now, jump into a Banshee and fly just down to this area. Once there, you want to hop out and follow this dark path. Eventually, you'll get to an object. Once close enough, it will flare up and you'll hear the grump birthday sound. You'll see in the distance a whitish banshee and you'll be able to hijack it if you've got the skills, which I do. Took a vehicle. And now you'll have a more powerful Banshee that fires faster and just looks sick. Take that, Kelly. Number 2, Gengar's Coliseum. This one is more of my own opinion of what it looks like, rather than what other people think. When I first saw this, I immediately thought, hey, that's Gengar. To see this one, you need to load into another custom game, but go to Coliseum. Once in the game, go to either red or blue base. You'll notice there are a lot of moving parts, but one in particular catches my eye. If you get in just the right spot and scope, you'll see what look like hands and, and eyes. And oh my god, it's using Dream Eater! But seriously, to me, it does have a striking resemblance to Gengar from Pokemon. And I love Pokemon, so that's why this one gets spot number two. Number one, the Prophet's Bane and the Mega Battle. Whoever first discovered this easter egg, my hat goes off to you. This is one epic find, and it's truly amazing. To do it, load into the first campaign level called Osiris, and it has to be on Legendary, otherwise it won't work. Now, as soon as you're in the game, you'll see some of the crashed ship in front of you. Just climb up it, and go to the very top. Once you're up there, you'll see a small cliff face with a knife in it. If you shoot this knife, it will catch on fire. Pretty cool, right? Well, that's not all. There are seven knives in total to find, and once you activate the first one, you'll be treated to some UNSC weapons rather than Promethean ones. Awesome, I hear you say? Well, keep going. The second knife can be found in this first battle area. If you get at the top of this rock and turn around towards the jet engine, you should see it somewhere around here. The third is just up from the second. 
near the area where the soldiers keep running away. Get to the very top and turn around. Somewhere on one of these cliff faces, you'll be able to see the knife. Number four is right after you burst through the wall and kill those soldiers. Look out over this edge. You'll see it on one of these cliff faces. Knife number five is right when you first spot the Kraken. Now, this one's pretty tricky to spot. Like, I know all of them are pretty hard to spot, but this one in particular. Just take your time, really look, and you should be able to find it. When I was a kid, I was stuck on a diplomatic shuttle adrift in deep space for six months. And right out here, at the end of this battle, you'll find the sixth knife. But first, I got a little business to take care of. Remember me! Watch out for the Kraken. The Covenant are trying to use it to break the Prometheum If you watched my last video, you'll know why I had to do that. Now, to the right of this door is your sixth knife. This one is, like all the other ones, on a cliff face. Just shoot it with your gun. That's number six taken care of. Number seven is right at the end of the level. Now, you have to clear out all the enemies first. That way, the knife will spawn. If you don't, the knife won't spawn. Trust me, I tried. Where's the knife? Where's the knife? Where's the knife? If you've activated all the other knives correctly, the room will begin to shake and you'll be rewarded with the Prophet's Bane. And you're invisible. But watch out, there's a Mega Warden of Eternal and a Mega Knight here to take you on. Now guys, like all easter eggs, this doesn't unlock any achievements or any end game content. And it doesn't even affect any of the cutscenes, it's just a little bit of fun. And that's why I love this easter egg, and I love that 343 have chucked it in there, just for fun. Well that's going to do it for my favourite Halo 5 easter eggs so far, but what are yours? Do you have others that you think are better? Do you have more that I should have added into the list? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. This has been UNSC Australia, out. Alright, well, um, hmm. They, um, they seem to be legs, huh? So, uh, I don't, I don't know what to, um, well, where the hell, you're in another hole.